Hello everyone, I am Sampada from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, let us understand the steps to test the JMS connection externally. So this is the agenda. We have a JMS Connect Test Utility, which is a Java based program and which can be used to test any JNDI or JMS connectivity. With any of the JMS providers like IBM MQ, ActiveMQ, etc. This is to ensure that the same connection works outside of Informatica and can be used in case of any connectivity issues or in case of any troubleshooting. These are the prerequisites. First, you need to get the dot bindings file from the MQ server or from your JMS admin. And you need to download the JMS connect.zip file, which contains a utility. Unzip the uh, zip file and copy it to the machine where you want to test it. Also, you need to place all the jars you see in the screenshot to the JMS Connect Java lib folder. Once you have placed all the jars, you need to provide permission to the JMS Connect utility to run. So below is a command or the syntax to run the utility. I'll show all these steps in the demo. This is the details regarding the arguments. You need to get all this information from your JMS admin. So one thing you have to note here, the hyphen T argument. This is to specify the JMS type. If you specify value as one, you can send a message to the queue. If you specify value as two, you can receive a message from the queue, etc. You can also enable a debug using hyphen debug option. I'll show the, all the usage of these arguments in a demo. So this is the network location from where you can download the JMS Connect Utility. Let me show you the network location. So this is the network location from where you can download the JMS Connect Utility. And here is a zip file. And it contains all the information regarding the utility, the arguments, and the system requirement. One thing you have to note here, you cannot test the utility using a custom message. You need to test it using the default message that the utility provides. Now let us see the demo. First, I'll show all the prerequisite steps and then will run the command. First thing is, you need to get the bindings file. So this is the bindings file from my environment. This contains all the information regarding the context factory and your queue and connection factory and the server IP, etc. This, these are the information that is that are needed to test the connect connectivity to the queue. The second one is you need to place all the jars in the JMS Connect Java lib. I have downloaded the JMS Connect Java lib. Here are the jar files that are needed to run the utility. And one more thing is you need to set the Java bin in the path environment variable. So this is the connection from Informatica developer. The connection URL is the location where I have placed the dot bindings file. If it is a Windows location, then you need to provide four forward, forward slashes. If it is a Linux environment, then you need to provide only three. Username, password, JNDI, context factory, everything you get it from your JMS admin. If you have access to MQ server, you can get this information as well. The connection factory is the uh, is the one which is present in the bindings file. You can get it from binding file as well. Let me perform test connection from the developer. So the test connection is successful. We'll use the same information and run the utility to test the connection. This is the context factory. And this is the place where I have placed my bindings file. And this is the 
the connection factory this is the de destination where i want to send a message or from from where i want to receive a message and hyphen t equal to 1 means i want to send a message to the queue hyphen n equal to 2 means i want to send two message to the queue hyphen time is set to 10 it so it waits for 10 seconds before sending the next message so let me run the command So it will load all the uh, jar files that are placed under JMS Connect Java lib and then it runs the utility. So it has waited for 10 seconds before sending a next message. So once you run this utility, you can go back to your MK server and check the queue depth. So it should be incremented by the value set to hyphen n. In case of this command, the hyphen n is set to 2 so the q depth should be incremented by 2 so this is for the demo so in case of any feedback you can write to us at support video at informatica.com thank you